So today we are talking about functions. Now the definition of a function is that for every input, there is only one output. Or another way to say it is for every x value, there's only one possible y value that it gives. Okay, And the best way to understand this is to see a couple of ex examples. So I've got four examples here. Two of them are tables. One is a set of coordinates. And the other one is a arrow diagram. So let's kind of go through these. Relation one, is it a function? Well, an input of 8 gave us a 13. An input of 18 gave us a 30. The input of negative 8 gave us a 33. An input of 80 gave us a negative 3. And then an input of 80 again gave us a positive 3. Now notice right here, if you input 80 into this relation, I get negative 3. And if I input 80 again, I get a positive 3. Now that makes this not a function. You can't input the same number into a relation and get two different outputs. All right, so that makes it not a function. All right, look at relation two. It's very similar, except it's not written in a table format. It's written as a list of coordinates. But you can kind of read it the same way. 3 is my input, 2 is my output. So if I input 3, I output 2. If I input 4, I get a 2. Input 5, I get a 7. Input 6, I get an 8. Input 7, I get a negative 8. And I input 8, I get a 1. Notice, for every single one of these inputs, I only got one output. This is a function. All right. And again, you don't really have to figure out what the rule is to calculate the output. You're only checking to see if every single input gives us one output. And if it doesn't, it's not a function. If it does, then it is. Hey, okay, let's do example three. So in this example, the arrow diagram, the first set of numbers are your inputs. So the second ones are your outputs. And you know that because of the arrow. It's basically saying my input of three Gives, a, gives us an output of 6. The input of 7 gives us an output of 12. The input of 18 gives us an output of 13. And then the input of 34 gives us both 16 and 26. So you can see right away this one right here. This makes this not a function because an input of 34 gave us two different outputs. So it's not a function. All right, last one, table four. Input of four gave us a six. Input of 11 gave us a six. Input of three gave us a two. Input of nine gave us a zero. And an eight, input of eight gave us a 12. Notice, for every single one of these inputs, there's only one output. So yes, this is a function. Now, a common question people ask is, what if two different inputs gives us the same output. That's okay, that's okay. The only thing we're looking for is if the same input gives us two different outputs. So it's the opposite of that, all right? So we're always checking to see if our input gives us more than one output. And if it does, it's not a function. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you could subscribe, it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck in your math and I will see you next time.